Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and it's time for your weekend swing trade update. See if we can find some swing trades for next week and see how the previous list performed. So H&H &H is not going to be here today. He got his power back on but that dinosaur of a laptop finally, finally bit the dust. So he has another laptop on its way, but because of the chip shortages, he will not be back probably until the 13th or 14th. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. But he did say to tell y'all when he does get back, he's ready to take souls with this new machine. So let's dive into the swing trade watch list and see what's going on. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please do so to support the channel and be able to turn on the notification bell to know when you can catch the swing trade update list, the live stream day trading, uh, Monday through Friday last rip episodes, and all the other great content and great people here in the Framework Fortune community. So AATC was on this list and we're going to be looking at a five-day, four-hour chart because Last Saturday was when this list came out, so this will be the past five days that followed when we put this list out, and we're going to see how well they performed. So AATC actually did, in the week, positive. Opened up on Monday around 7.83 and it finished the week with a close of 8.11, so a decent little move, not as big as a move as we were looking for. Uh, we didn't, neither one of us swung this because it just didn't look like it was ready for a move, but it did get a little quick pop up there. It looks like on Thursday all the way up to 8.32. So not too bad there. CLWT, this one you can see opened the week at 3.50. At one point spiked to 3.95. There was a chance there to get a little profit off of this swing. It even had a second little pop up there to 3.90. But finished the week off with a close of 371. That is another positive close on this list. OXBR was a little all over the place this week, as you can see. Opening up at this 338 area. Did get one little move up to 345, uh, but closing the week down 328. So a little drop uh, over the whole week. But we'll see how it looks on the daily in a little bit. Socket opened the week at 688. Did give a dip down. This was probably a good buying opportunity down here at 657, uh, but did get all the way back up to 707 and close the week around 695. So this one is another about 40 50 cent gainer on the week. So three out of four so far. And Wafu opened at 705. Did throw a wick way down there to the devil's number <laughs> actually had a big rebound up to 753 midweek so if you did catch that swing very nice did close the week on a green note at 720 so XTLB this one opened at 480 did get a nice run up to 565 on Thursday and then had a sell off at the end of the week so if you got in at the beginning of the week and you sold in this rip then you did good on this if you're still holding it uh, you're basically a little bit below break even at the moment so this one did close lower just barely so four out of six is not bad but every one of them gave a day or two where you could have made a little bit off of the swing so I would say that was a pretty successful list for the first attempt of us using Hal's new swing trading scanner and meaning both choosing three stocks separately and then comparing and debating them. So let's see what they look like on the daily chart and see if they're worth still swinging or if they are done. AATC I think is still worth swinging. This is the one that paid out the dividend. The dividend stock is broken above this channel and actually held above on Friday, closing above eight. That's a pretty bullish signal there. You got the 10 day starting to pull away from the 50. That's another bullish indicator. This downtrend 
that was there pretty much has broken. There's just one more major resistance area at this 875 area that it needs to get through. And if it could get through that, we could possibly see it up to 10. It could possibly pull back because it is off of the 10 day and it likes to hug against it for the most part. So there may be a pullback on Monday down to 780, maybe a little retest of this previous resistance. But I think it's definitely one to keep on the list. CLWT, it did give a little push during the week, but it did finish the week on a bit of a strong note, closing above the 10-day moving average and the 50, so that's some bullish sign there. If it can hold above this 375 area, we could see it maybe come back up and test four. Still coming to the tip of this triangle, and maybe another couple of weeks away, so this may be one that you can get some pops on during the week, but it looks like to get a big breakout, uh, it may have to be a little bit longer than we expected. But, I mean, this still is very bullish. This chart's pretty bullish, so I think it's worth keeping on there for now. Oxbar, I like that it broke the downtrend, but lots of indecision at this area. As you can see, the 10-day and the 50 are just right there together. The 10 day did close above the 50. So that is a little bit of a bullish sign, but we didn't see too much out of OXBR. It's still holding above that $3 area, which as long as it holds above that is good. It is on an uptrend. So, I mean, I think this one that we could keep an eye on closed with 80,000 volume on Friday. If that volume can ramp up a little bit, then maybe uh, I might look for an entry. Al doesn't like socket, but I still like it. This is a nice little U-shape on the daily chart, testing that 715 area. So I think we're going to see a breakout on socket soon uh, for, some, for another push up. It's held at least some of its gains from the original big rip and now is consolidating upwards. I may start to look for a swing position on Monday depending on what it does. Wafu, I definitely think, is on watch for Monday and Tuesday. You can see where the 10-day is just about cross the 50-day right there. So if it pushes up at all and breaks over 750, I think we can see Wafu run. XTLB, I'm not liking the way this is curling over, but it did close above the 10-day moving average. It had a hard rejection of that 525 area. I don't know. We may come back to it. I'll leave it on the list for now just because this was one of Hal's picks. So let's take a look at Hal Scanner and see what we got on here. RHE, this one we actually made some profits on day trading this week. I do think this is one to keep on watch. Did break that downtrend there. Starting to turn back bullish. It did close Friday below the 50 but above the 10 so depending on what it does monday we could see it start to pop again i'm going to throw it on the actual swing trade watch list and this thing is very low float and it did close with 280,000 volume on friday so sgrp closing up at a dollar 80 on friday with 369,000 in volume they just had some good earnings it looks like uh the middle of August did have a big spike up recently to 386. It's got some strong resistance at two dollars, but been on an uptrend. So I like the way this one looks. I'm gonna put this on the watch list. I'll see what it does Monday, but I'll be looking for a pullback maybe towards the end of the week. So we'll see how this list performs this week. Hopefully, how will be back by next weekend. So. He can come back with some new stocks and we can make a maybe a whole brand new list. We'll see which ones stay on the list, which ones don't. But we're going to try to keep it to around six to eight stocks at the most. But I'll be back Monday morning bright and early for the live stream day trading. Come join us. It's a blast. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.